I'm pleased to be joined today on HealthBeat by Dr. David Collini, a general surgeon with Faith Regional Physician Services General Surgery in Norfolk. And we're talking about hernias. So Dr. Collini, share with us some of the different types of hernias and how those are assessed. So hernias are some of the most common reasons that someone would come to see a surgeon. So a hernia is technically defined as a weakness somewhere in the body and now basically something's popping through that weakness in the body under the skin. So as you can see behind me, there's a picture here detailing some of the hernias. So these are abdominal wall hernias, or right on the belly here, called ventral hernias. Some of the most common are umbilical hernias, mm. so right at the belly button, mm -hmm. you know, some people have those. There are also groin hernias or inguinal hernias, which are a little lower down in your inguinal creases. As you can see, there are a few other types though. There are special more rare types like this here, spigelian hernia, just mm. slightly off to the side. Mm -hmm. And then there's another type for people who have had surgeries before on their belly. So oh. incisions, they're called incisional hernias. Mm -hmm. yeah. So are those caused by overactivity or trying to lift something too heavy? How do you get one? Well, there are some spots in the abdominal wall that have a natural weakness mm. there. And yes, over time, with repeated activity, straining, uh, pressure that you generate in your abdomen from lifting, it can slowly weaken those areas more and cause a hernia over time. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Um, is it, so there's a lot of pressure down there to cause that. Is it possible to get more than one at a time? You can, yeah. Some people, most commonly I'll see, have an umbilical hernia or the belly button hernia as well as a groin hernia. Mm -hmm. And the way we assess these is typically you'll notice it yourself or your primary doctor will notice it, send you to someone like me. Mm -hmm. We'll look at the hernia and we'll assess where we think it is, how big we think it is, and then the proper surgical procedure to do for it. And for complete repair, is that always a surgical procedure? Typically, yes. Yeah. So in, in certain people, some hernias aren't dangerous enough to, wa to be able to not watch over time. You can actually wash them, but most hernias we do recommend to be repaired because you can have some of your insides get caught in them. Mm -hmm. Okay, well thanks for being here today. We appreciate it. Absolutely, thank you. Right. To learn more about clinic locations, specialties, and providers, visit frpsclinics.org. Thank you.